Hi Dresser Kitties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw an undeniably cute little animal, the red panda. So get your sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw this red panda, we're going to first start by drawing an oval. So right here I'm going to start, draw a little oval for the nose and mouth area. Just start with a top curve and bring it around. and connect it at the bottom. There. Now let's come back right in the center, right here at the top, and we're just going to draw a little nose for our panda. So a little curve right in the center and connect it with a V. And you can come in here and shade it in. <laughs> it's so tiny. There. And then let's draw a center line right in the middle. And we're going to draw a curve on both sides for our smile. And another curve. There. So we have our mouth and our little nose in. And then from there, let's come to the sides right here. We're going to draw two circles for the eyes. So about, say, right here in this area. Just go ahead and draw a circle. And same thing on this side. So about right here in this area. There, we have two circles in for our eyes and let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm gonna come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. lines at the bottom. So same thing on this side. There, now we have the eyes in. Let's um we're going to start with the face. So wherever you put your eye, let's come out. So just kind of give yourself a little area right here, say about right here. I'm just going to come out and basically just going to start to draw a big dome over the eyes. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Just give myself a point so it's just a little bit easier. And right here I'm going to start and draw a big curve. Oops. So do the same thing about right here over the eyes. I'm just going to bring it up. And connect. There. We got a top curve in there for our head. And now let's build a little tuft of fur right here on the edge. Right here. So let's come down a little bit. And we're just going to zigzag maybe two and start to bring it in. So same thing on this side. Just make two little zigzags and bring it in. Okay, so then now the easy part. <laughs> Let's just draw a curve right under. But we're not going to close off the curve. So we're just going to stop a kind of around where the nose area is. So about right here. Nice and even on both sides we're going to stop. From there let's go up and draw the ears. So they have pretty big ears. So I'm going to start about right here in this area. And I'm just going to draw a curve up. And round it off at the top and bring it back down and let's draw the inside of our ear so just follow your outside so we're going to do the same thing on the other side so make it a little bit easier i'm just going to drag some points across so i know where the other one approximately should go so about right there and 
Once again, I'm going to start this way and go up. So if it's easier, you can drag this top point right here. So you kind of know how high to go up. And then round it off and bring it back down. And once again, the easier part, <laughs> just follow your outside for the inside part of the ear. There, now we're done. Okay, so then um, there's some markings on the red panda. There's some white parts right here on the cheek area and above the eye. So I'm still uh, trying to debate whether or not I'm gonna use a Sharpie or just do it when I color. So I'll come back to it. For now, let's start to draw our body. Okay, so then now it's nice and center. Let's come and draw a little curve right here. Just start our body. And we're gonna bring this down, all the way down. However long you kinda wanna make your red panda. And about right there, I'll start to curve it in. And before I finish curving it in, I'm going to come back in here. So uh, centering it, I'm going to come right here and draw a curve. So I'm just still aware of my center. So let's see here. I'm going to draw the front leg. So right here, I'm just going to come down. And right here, I'm just going to curve it in. And out. Now we can go up. Oops. And up. There. And then you can come in here with two little curves for the uh, fingers. So now from there, let's go ahead and finish this curve right here and tuck it right in. Now that we know where our front legs are. So right here, just tuck it in and add a little line right there in the center to finish it off. And I'm just going to add some little feet right here. That would be extra cute. So you can pop out a little curve if you want and just tuck it right in there. So same thing on this side. There. And now the beautiful tail that the red panda has. We're gonna come in this area and we're just gonna draw a big sweeping curve that comes out. So right about right here, I'll start and curve up. Now just give it a little zigzag to make it look furry and then go back up again to maybe about this high, about right there. And then in here, I'm just gonna come down nice and thick and about right here I'll do another zigzag and bring it back in now let's draw because there's stripes on the tail so I'm just gonna put three to simplify it so three bands I'm just gonna zigzag across all the way across at a curve so maybe another one See here, starting here. Another one here. So it's just a bunch of zigzags up and down at a curve. If you're not comfortable doing that, you can just draw a smooth curve across. So then let's see here, one more at the tip. There. And last but not least, gotta add a heart right here to make it my draw so cute red panda. And let's see here. I will very, very lightly, just so you can see, in case you're not coloring it and you're using a Sharpie or a pencil, come in this area and draw the, the white part of the cheek. So I'm gonna start right here, very lightly. It's just a little curve, comes down. So same thing over here, up and down. 
And then right here, we're going to add two little ovals above the eye. So I'm going to try as lightly as I can. Just two little ovals. One and another one. So there, now that we're done with the drawing, let's go ahead and color it with some color pencils. So there, hope you guys love this cute little panda I drew for you and you had fun drawing it and coloring it. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it and remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.